What is up guys, this is Jay here with Jay Media One, and today we're out to review a new product today, the Flying Nova Pro. This is supposed to be one of the hottest gadgets on Amazon right now. The Flying Nova is the most tricked out flying spinner and you use your hands in order to control this device. So you do not have to use any kind of remote controls or anything with it. It uses your hands to control it. With the Flying Spinner Pro, you have toys like this that can fly in opposite directions when your hands are close to it but if you put your hand underneath it's supposed to go up and you can throw the ball all over the air back and forth and there's little propellers inside uh, this tiny orb that will allow the toy to move around now we don't know anything about this product yet we just put our hands on it we've never even opened it so today we're going to do an unboxing we're going to check it out for the first time we're going to experience it a little bit and you guys are invited along with us let's get started Okay, so today we have the Flying Nova Pro. You'll notice it comes with this little sleeve here. Just pop this off. The sleeve's a little tough to get off of there. And it looks like the box has a seam here, like an opening inside of that seam. You just flip it up, and there it is. And it's just this cool little blue ball. And you can see the fan inside of here there's a little electromagnetic motor on the top here we have a micro usb and that's what's going to be used to charge this device not sure how long the battery life is on it there's a little bit of reading material in here not too much about your basic manual it tells you how to work it how to fly it and then along with that we have the micro usb charging cable and it is completely foam lined so that's good product packaging. It'll help it with getting damaged in the shipping. Nothing else. That's it. Very simple box. Very simple design. So in order to turn it on, you just hit this little on button on top. And it's underneath the chassis of the cage. We have confirmed that. So you do have to press pretty hard down there to get it to come on. But you see the lights start coming on right away. You know that it's coming on at least it's turning on and it's active the lights just flash back and forth and you know that the device is on at this point in order to activate this device you have to swing it so you have to move it like that once you get it swung it starts to really kick those fans in super hard so if I turn it upside down towards the blades you can see it moving around and it really wants to go you almost have to cup it in order to get it to stay straight and it's quite loud but it's definitely hovering that fan is moving inside of that cage and it really wants to go but you can't really control the direction too easily it said that you can boomerang this thing around but if you notice as soon as I turn it either direction it wants to shoot off in that direction so it's really just like a balancing act if there's a gyro inside of this or whatnot in order to try to keep it straight up and down so we're just learning we're just getting our hands on this thing we're just trying to keep it steady here so you guys can kind of see what it does but it seems pretty cool I think that if you were to toss it around you would definitely be able to uh, see it in some action so we'll get some action shots for you as well but yep yeah, we're almost that we almost got it there where it's wanting to stay So you can see it really tries to get away from you, but we got a decent steady hold on it right now. If I put it up to the mic, you could really see how the sucker is. I mean, it really is going inside of there. That fan is putting out some major pressure. And it wants to move real easy. I mean, if I toss this back and forth, it's going to go. 
There is a boomerang mode where you throw it and it spins around and then shoots back at you. And I don't know if it would stay any better in this box. I'm trying to equalize it. But it definitely hovers. It's just really wanting to go all over the place. It's cool. It's definitely cool. I think kids would think it's super cool. I mentioned that it's lightweight. It's definitely lightweight. It's definitely portable. And it's made of a non-toxic and high-grade ABS material. I'm going to turn this off just so you can hear me a little bit better. Okay, and in order to do that, i got to swing it. It takes a little bit of effort, but after you swing it enough times, it does shut itself off. This thing is crazy. You can see that there's two two decent sized fans in here and they're at different angles. The blades are at different angles for the different kind of propulsion that it's trying to get, trying to push itself up, move the wind force down in order to get it up higher into the air. Um, but this thing has, uh, like I said, the USB recharger. It has built-in rechargeable batteries and they're fast charging. Um, this can be charged through any USB port. It takes 25 minutes for a single charge and eight to 10 minutes for flying. So it flies for about 10 minutes, which is pretty good. Um, when the LED indicator flashes, it means that the aircraft must be charged. The indicator light stays on when charging and it goes out when charging is complete. If you guys notice, the lights do stay on when you turn it off. And if you swing it, they come right back on. And then they're really spinning inside of there. And it's really cool the different color patterns that this thing puts out. They're super bright and really neat. And we're going to play with it a little bit. The hardest part, I think, is getting it to shut off. You really got to swing it pretty hard. And there's obviously some kind of gyro inside of there that senses that it's being swung or moved. And that's what turns it off. And then that LED button, if you can see inside of there, is super, super tiny to get your hand on. And it, it's not underneath this blade per se, it's wherever the position of the motor is because this entire thing does rotate inside of the case. There's only two points of the, the access points here. So the entire thing does rotate. So this thing does have intelligent programming to make sure that it can fly stable. So it does have a built-in gyroscope. It's just a little off, but it's super plasticky toy. This isn't made out of any kind of hard material here. This is super, super soft and it moves around quite easy. And that's good because if it has to take some kind of impact, it obviously won't damage the object that it's hitting because it is pliable. These, this ring right here is pretty solid, but it also is pliable. So if you squeeze it hard enough, you'll get it to coat. So with all that being said, let's get this thing outside and we'll show you some action shots and then you can decide for yourself if this product is right for you.